Welcome to Creating a Blog with EduBlogs. This tutorial will show you the step-by-step -step process of creating a blog using the blogger service known as EduBlogs. To begin, you must go online to the EduBlogs website at edublogs.org. On the home page, click on the free option. Next, you must enter your details. Your username must be at least four characters using only lowercase letters and numbers. Your password must be at least five characters long. Confirm your password. Email address is optional. Read the Terms of Service. If you agree to the Terms of Service, click in the box, then scroll on down and click Go to Step 2. The next step is to name your blog. The blog domain is the URL for your blog. Once you create the domain, it cannot be changed. It must be at least four characters and only letters and numbers can be used. Next, enter your blog title. Then select the blog type. Teachers will select teacher. Then in the language area, you can select the language that you would like to be used in your blog. Next is human verification. This is to verify that an actual person is using this site. Simply type in the words that you see in the box. Then click Go to Step 3. If you see this message, you may have to change information that you have entered. So I will change this. We'll try this one. Come back down and I must re-enter this information. And I will click go to step three once more. Here I can see that my blog has been created. During this step, it is important to write down the blog URL as well as your username and password. Scroll down and then click on Login to your new blog. On this page, select the first option if you are a beginner at using blogs. This is your admin area. This is where you can make a post and manage your blog. To make your first post, we will first enter a title. Most likely your first post would be a welcome to your blog. In this area, the body area, type in some text that will be your message.
Once you have your message entered into the body, you can click Preview to see how your message will look. In the Preview frame, you can see how your blog will look. This is the standard appearance of a blog in EduBlogs, but this can be changed in your admin area, and we'll look at that in a few seconds. Here I can see the title of my blog. Down here I can see the title of my first post. And here is the message that I entered into the body area. To return to my admin area, I will come up here and click on the X. And now I'm back in the admin area. If I am satisfied with the message that I have created, I can come right here on the right side and click Publish. This will actually put this post into the blog. Okay, so my comments have been added. Now, if we want to change the appearance of our blog, we can come up here to Free Themes. We will click there and we see several different themes that we can choose from. Simply scroll down, find one that you like. I think I will choose this one. Then click Activate. Now I can scroll back up and if I want to take a look at my blog with this new appearance, I can click on Visit Site. And we see that my blog has been changed to the new theme that I selected. And if I want to return to my admin area from the blog, I scroll down on the right side and click on Site Admin. In this admin area, there are many tabs at the top that you can use to manage your blog. We'll take a look at these tabs. This new post area that we are in is where you can add new posts to your blog. The next tab, My Posts, this will show the different posts that you have made to your blog. If you hover over the title of your post, you will see options to edit, delete, or view your post. New page is another tab. In this area, you can add a new page to your blog. For example, you could create a new page within your blog that may hold a course syllabus or contact details. The next tab, My Pages, would allow you to edit the different pages of your blog. The different pages would be listed in this area and once again you would see the title of the page and options to edit, delete, or view. The Comments tab allows you to look at comments that have been posted to your blog. In this area, you can view the author of the comment, you can read the comment, and you have options to unapprove or approve, mark the comment as spam, delete the comment, edit the comment, or even reply to the comment. You also see details such as the date and time that this comment was made. We've already looked at free themes. Pro themes, this is available if you upgrade to the pro version of EduBlogs. Customize design, this is a tab that allows you to make some changes to your blog, the position of the different items, um, where you would like them located. This pro area, once again, is for pro users. 
Looking over here, we see a help button. At any time, in any section of this blog, if you need help, you could click on this section and receive some support. And looking on over to the right side, under the profile tab, this is an area in which you can make some changes to your admin color scheme and you can have other options. You can change your contact information, you can add biographical information, you can change your password if you so desire. This is all located under the profile tab. When you are finished working in your blog and you're ready to log out, simply come up to the top and click log out. Here you can see that you have been logged out of your blog. If I wanted to return, I can click up here and go back and view my blog once more. And this is a wonderful section on the EduBlogs homepage. Help and support this link has quick guides and tutorials that would answer any questions that you may have about creating and managing your blog. Now that you have seen how easy it is to create a blog, you should be ready to create one of your own. Happy blogging!